Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. So here are the Kickstarter extras that I got with my set. I got the four characters and I got these bags of soldiers. I'll show you what everything looks like. We'll open it up and we'll take a look at it. But I got these four factions. And I got some other cards involved also, which I don't have here with me. But there were 12 tactic cards that came with it and four new battle tiles. But this is kind of the miniatures that I got with it. And I wanted to show these off. First little bag I got, you're going to get a bag of these little miniature guys. Let's take a look at these up close. You're going to see this guy. He's coming out right at you. These will be painted up really nice. These are really nice miniatures. He's kind of sitting on this thing, and he has his legs coming out right here. And then they gave us a second bag. Now, these came like this in bags. I didn't put these in here. But these will take over for the cards that you have. So you can see this mechanical guy here. And this will replace the cards. You can put these on the board and purchase these instead of the cards. And here's the third bag. You can see the knight, and you can see mine, this whole bag of them is bent there, so that one had to be fixed, it didn't stay up, which isn't that good. And you're just going to get kind of the torso up from the waist up here, sort of, and you get a whole big bag of those. And the fourth bag, once again you get this big old bag, it came like this, not in a box, and you're going to get the guy here with the two guns on the side, kind of torso up, including the head. And there you are. So we're going to get the box for Count Iago. You can see the clown coming up. You can see the little miniature in the back in the box. When you open it up, you're going to get something like this. You're going to get the screen for him in different languages. So pick which one you want. Here's the English version. You're going to have the one miniature that's kind of stuck in here. And you're going to get a boot of miniatures here. This is the red one. You can kind of see the clown, the big long piece coming up. And the power you're going to get with him is he's in a former. He may discard tactic cards in exchange of two coins each at any point. So that is what he's going to do. You have the price and everything here. I do like this guy quite a bit. I like this. I, I play red normally, but I like his power in addition. Here we're going to have Mother Apollonia. You can see the same thing with the back with her switching out right there. You can kind of see what you're getting. Very nice presentation. Here's what you get when you open it up inside. You're also going to get the three screens here of the picture. Her hand of God. When she wins a tactic card, she draws three, chooses one to keep discarding the others. And everything you need else is inside here. You can check out her little... Her little miniature is like this teal turquoise, and she's this big thing fanning out. Very cool for the captain. Now, she does give you the option of having different tactic cards. You can choose kind of what you want and where you want to go. That can be very handy for those players that like to plan things out. There is Viscount Percival de Havar, and you can see the presentation of the yellow character on the back. Very nice. Very. I really like the way they did these expansion boxes. Here's has three screens and different... Languages, you're going to have the cheat sheets on the back here. And then gets three extra victory points of the house he supports in battle wins with 15. Very hard to do. So this can be a very tough guy to play. This will allow the yellow player to come into the game. You can kind of see these things coming up out of here. Very nice little miniature that you would get. And you get a bag of these. Overall, I find this got to be hard. You really got to push to get that 15 if you're going to get the bonus extra victory points, which can be huge but very hard to obtain, so it's going to require a certain type of player. And the final one is Alhazarad. You can kind of see the presentation you get, and this will give you the blue character. You get the bag of miniatures here for his power. May play any tactic card as if it were a betrayal card. That can be very useful for somebody who doesn't like to do a lot of betrayals, like a certain type of player. This will allow blue into the game, if that's your player color. And you can kind of see... The bust here, probably not the best one because it's all kind of just that headdress that they wear. So probably not the best looking miniature of all. I think this could be a very powerful character. This is something that you can add in right away. Once again, these all play in a different play styles, which is very interesting. So what do we got here with this? It's a pretty neat Kickstarter exclusive. These four bags, 
are just upgrades. If you'd rather have miniatures instead of the cards that you're playing with, you can definitely have these instead and put these out. You'd put them behind your screen so nobody can see what you have. Bulkier, not as easy to play. You know if you're a miniature guy or not, but these are just component upgrades. What you're left with is these four boxes that are going to be different playing styles with different powers. Very neat. If you played the base game a lot and you're ready for new characters or you prefer to play with these character colors, this will be something you'd want to add in. This is for fans of the game only. People are going to want to be playing it a lot and want different things to play with. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.